Oh, dear me. What an unspeakable mess this has all become. Just look at the state of our city. Even the Zoogles have stopped heeding our commands. Whatever did we do to deserve this? You really have no clue what might have caused this? Would that I have. Alas, there was no warning, no prior decree. His Highness must have deemed it unnecessary for us to know. We have no choice but to grin and bear it. But do my eyes deceive me? Could I really be standing in the presence of his lordship, Dohalim of the House Ilkaris? I believe he was on Dana. Your eyes do not deceive you. It is I, one and the same. I have returned to fulfill a special duty, the details of which I cannot divulge. As your lordship wishes. First Lanagus mutates beyond recognition, now this unexpected visit? The Sovereign's plans are inscrutable indeed. The Ilkaris House has produced a great many lords over the centuries. I shall be praying for your victory in the latest crown contest. Your good wishes do me an honor. Everything will be okay now. I know the basics of healing arts, but my skills pale in comparison. It's just... from how it looks. But why do all this? What for? Surely... Whatever their purpose, disrupting their siphoning process alone won't be sufficient. Not while we still don't know... He's right! We need to stop this from happening... This Forbidden Zone might be where we find some answers, right? So what are we waiting for? You heard him. We don't have time to stop. So, I've been wondering. Do you think when Lenicus was built, it was even made with people? What do you mean? Well, none of this happened by coincidence, right? They must have designed it to trans... But then, if they knew people were going to live here, you'd think they would have taken that into consideration. Ordinarily, yes. Trust me. As far as we were concerned, Lenicus was our home. Nothing more. It makes you wonder whether the city was just built on as an afterthought. Sorry. <sighs> this place is a... Yeah. Your Lordship. Oh, what a great honor it is to finally meet you. I descended to Dana during the last crown contest also. Alas, when the contender I was backing failed to clinch the title, I returned. I witnessed the deaths of so many slaves. Indeed. Sorry to interrupt, but we're looking for a woman dressed all in red. Have you seen anyone of that description? All red, eh? No, I can't say I remember anyone like that. I imagine she'd stand out somewhat, too. Yeah. What about down on Dana during the crown contest? You didn't see anyone like that hanging around the Lord you were serving? What's with all these questions? I've never seen her, okay? Not recently or otherwise. Why do you want to find her? Never mind. Forget I asked. Is everything okay? 
You hmm? Oh, yes. I can't seem to find my way home, is all. I was hoping to head this way myself. The situation is a real pain, huh? I suppose the sob... I daren't stay here too long, though. A lower caste can only linger around these parts for so long before I outstay my welcome. I was hoping to avoid it, but maybe I'll have to go that way after all. You mean you know another way round? Lord Dohali Milkaris! But how? Last I heard, you were in Dana Compu- Yes, strange, isn't it? If you know another route, we'd be grateful if you- But, but of course. Please forgive me. There's a wall that sprung up ahead of here, with what looks to be an entrance in it. I thought maybe it was a passageway between the different quarters, but I've no way of knowing for sure. It's worth investigating, at least. I shall go and assess the situation. In the meantime, wait for me here. If it looks safe, I'll come and let you know. You'd really do that for me? A lord tr Our lot in life is of little consequence. We are both Renan, first and foremost. Oh, why- Well, we've canvassed the city for information. No one has the faintest idea what's happened to the city after all. They haven't heard the news about the crown contest either. You'd think that info would easily find its way up here. Has it always been like that? Not to this extent. Which would indicate that something's suppressing the truth. That Lenigus is- Even everything that's happened to their city? The people here seem weirdly okay. Yeah. That one guy even said Zugal had stopped listening to him. Everything that happens here is attributed to the Sovereign's will. It's the way people have been... Nothing happens devoid of a reason. To them, it's all... Po the Sovereign's... Pl there is one thing I'm still not sure about. Just... The Sovereign, of course. He rules from Rena while presiding over both Rena... Without the Lords or anyone in the middle doing his dirty work? Isn't Rena at least the same size as Dana? That's a pretty big dominion for one person to rule over. I would have thought ruling Lenigus alone would be d The points you make are valid, though I confess I'd never given it much thought before. Here, the Sovereign's total authority is as natural as night to come to think of it. I know nothing of the nature of how Rena it's- <sighs> Shion, have you ever been- <clears throat> No, forgive me. Have you met or crossed paths with, or even heard of someone who's actually made a visit to the homeland? N no, I- Neither have I. In which case, I would imagine that... <clears throat> but no, surely not. Can it really be that no citizen of Lenigus has ever been there? Oh, hold up, what are you getting at? Assuming what I believe to be correct, it's possible that no one on Lenigus has ever laid eyes on the actual Renan homeworld itself. No one but the Sovereign, that is. But what about trade and communication? There's got to be a flow back and forth, surely. Not if the Sovereign is imposing his will on Lenigus single-handedly. It could be a one-way street. But I thought you said that the Sovereign's all the way over on Rena. If that's the case, can he really rule directly over Lenigus from so far away? What if something were to happen to the city, like now? I'm beginning to wonder what the nature of this Sovereign even is. Alfin said he was forced into the role, right? Just before the ceremony. But Sovereign is also the title given to the Almighty Renin Ruler. So which one is it? Whoever wins the crown contest inherits the throne from his or her predecessor, before becoming ruler over all of Rena and Lenigus. Thereafter, that individual is known as the Sovereign. Though, it would appear that the current ruler has gone silent. As for how Volron factors into all this, at this point, I no longer know what to... Three centuries ago, I became the Sovereign here on Lenigus. No, not just became, I was forced to. Me, a Danon. Three hundred years later, we cross paths with Volron, who also bears the Sovereign's crest. And that's not the only thing we have in common. We both became Sovereign without winning the Crown Contest. Do you think Volron was made Sovereign for the same reason? Because of that ceremony? I can't say for sure. But it certainly sounds like it. But that would mean that two Sovereigns would need to exist at any one time. One whose job it is to rule, and the other for ceremonial purposes. We never did see Volron's body back in Ganeth Heros. Is a new ceremony underway with Volron at its center this time? Could that be what's causing all this strange activity here? Wait a second. 
You don't think Voron and the Red Woman are working together, do you? The ceremony can't go forward without the Renis Alma. The same one that the Red Woman stole. There's something else the ceremony needs. A maiden. And unless there's another one out there aside from me... Questions, questions, and yet more questions. Ones that it seems will remain unanswered. Until we can establish the Sovereign's identity. If the Forbidden Zone really is off-limits to everyone but the Sovereign, that seems as good a place as any to start. Then it's decided. That's where we need... One of the citizens mentioned a passage that she thought might lead to another section of the city. Let's go find it! I didn't... It is the way things have always been, so no one thinks to question. Unquestioning acceptance of your own sir. Even... I... More to the point. What if she's not... For all... Nobody left to run the show. I wonder what the pe I mean, their sovereigns up on the Renin homeworld. But Dohalim was only current acting lords have power. Renin society is even if the other lords were still around, I doubt they'd be I wonder what they'd think if they were Balsif, Cannabelt, Almadria. Now that I think of it, aside from Dohalim, we know next to nothing about the other lords. Well, yeah, why would to us Danins? They were just enemies we needed I know. But seeing Renin's in their own city. It feels strange to imagine the Lord. Yeah, if you're that curious about them, why not try inquiring with some of every Lord in their household has their share of supporters here. And luckily for us, the people here are unaware of the events on Dana, which means they should be more... care about someone other than himself? Really? It's possible. Tell me, and what? You know, I'm a... I do. Look, I would never... So the... Night. Hmm. If you... Heh? I can... I wasn't... She intended to spread it throughout all of Lenigus then. Good thing the lines were down so she couldn't. It almost sounded like she was praising them too. Maybe there was more to the guy than at first glance. I shall refrain from Hmm. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gannabelt was so horrible to people. Yet he was invested in helping Rena succeed. Doesn't that seem just a little inconsistent? I'm perhaps biased in this matter, I admit. However, in my mind, while all... Lords vie to become the next Sovereign. They're also meant to serve as guardians of all the Frenna. It seems like Ganondorf also had people he cared about until the very end. So why couldn't he extend that to us Danins? This area doesn't look as badly damaged as that other district we went through. Pardon me. <laughs> I guess her willingness to stoop to any low came from a survival of the fittest worldview. And some people here not only shared her belief, but championed it as morally right, too. That doesn't make it true. Bad they couldn't see through her. Yeah. Hmm. 
favorite Voga. Hmm. It seems like the people on Lenegas don't really know much about Volron either. I remember being quite surprised when the Lord of Ganeth Harrow's changed so abruptly. Didn't you have any doubts that something suspicious was going on? On the contrary. Remember, we Renans are raised to accept everything at face value. When you think about it, the families of Renan lords must see them differently than the rest- Yeah, despite the brutality they're known for. They must have had a lot on their shoulders, carrying all the weight and responsibilities of Renan society. Renans live in a world where strength and power determine their position in the social hierarchy, so they tend to grow up fiercely competitive. But their loyalty to their people is also strong. It's what brings them together against outside forces. And nothing exemplifies that more than the Lords. That, that's what makes them the guardians of all of Renna, so to- Right. It's the same reason Balsif hated my guts, and Ganabelt went after you. Because we're threats to Renna. Guess that makes you an even bigger oddball than we thought. So, Alfin, have you gained anything from all of this? Yeah. I think it's made me realize that the Lords were all people, too. Balsif and the others, they all had their own circumstances to deal with as they went through life. Yeah, but still, just because they had loved ones in their lives doesn't mean... I know. What they did was horrible. I'm not trying to dispute that. But at the same time, they weren't incomprehensible monsters, either. They were individuals. Just... so I guess... what I'm trying to say is... You're saying that they weren't bad because they were Renans, or because they were terrible monsters. Even if they did terrible things, they were still... Renwell. Am I wrong? Not at all. Being a Danon doesn't make you a good person. And being a Renan doesn't make you a bad one. I think that's something we've all seen. Xion and Dohalim definitely make a good case for it. And I'm going to keep doing my best to make sure I earn that trust. As a fellow human... this thing. There's something I just don't... What is it? The crown contest itself has always gone ahead. In, in which case, the current sovereign of Rena should be whoever it was that won the previous... Yeah, that may... So... Hanfreaked Milgroth, the former lord of Cislodia, if memory serves. So then this Hanfreaked whatchamacallim... He's the current ruler? The last I heard, yes. Though, admittedly, I haven't actually seen him since the end of the previous- You're saying that ever since becoming Sovereign, he's never actually shown himself on Lenegus? I guess over Holocom, maybe, but not in the flesh. Same thing goes for the Sovereign that came before him. Now that you mention it, I don't recall anyone ever visiting Lenegus from the Motherland, Sovereign or otherwise. And that never struck you- <sighs> When you live here, it's as if you're conditioned not to notice all these strange quirks and discrepancies. The question is then, by whom? And a new Renis Alma is supposedly created to coincide with every crown contest, meaning each victor is awarded their very own. In other words, if that's true, there should be as many of the things out there as there have been contests. True, but going on what we witnessed in Pelegian, it didn't look like the sort of thing that could be made to order. But if even the victor's speeches have been part of some grand deception, then where are they? 
<sighs> Quite frankly, I'm not even sure what to believe anymore. You and me both. Though we are Renin by blood, neither of us even knew that such a thing as a Dark Master Core exists. With any luck, the Forbidden Zone might give a- No use standing around here chatting about- the person that I've I was Shh. but why are you here wait don't tell me you've given up on the crown contest and come crawling back home from Dana already nothing to say even though you were willing to kill Tarnigan to secure your position as Lord you still kill I'm here to take care of something if you wish to continue this conversation, I only ask that you wait until I'm finished. Oh, of course. You always did prefer to take the coward's way out. Even after seven years and living on that Danon rock, you haven't changed one bit. But let me tell you, I haven't changed either. Not a day's gone by the past seven years that I haven't hated you! If killing me will bring you peace, then so be it. <laughs> Doholim, what the hell are you saying? First, I have business to take care of. If it's vengeance you seek, I will grant you it. But you must wait. My sins are legion. Let me finish what I came to do. Then you have my word. I will let you do whatever brings you peace. Sure, that's it. Run away like always. You don't even have the courage to die. No wonder you leave it to someone else! You're just a coward! Dohalim. I apologize that you had to witness that. Is it true? What she said about you killing someone? Each of us have our pasts. I am no exception. Before, back in Menencia, you mentioned having taken a friend's life over the throne. Is that what she meant? The mistakes I made there were not my first, and may not be my last. I will say no more. Did you mean what you said? About letting her take your life if she wanted to? She has more right to my life than anyone. But you can't just... Whatever happens, I have sworn to put an end to the crown contest, and to ensure continued... I have no intention of expiring before I do so. There are far too many questions I still seek answers to. Besides... You have just as much reason to kill me as she does. <laughs> Dohalim! Forgive me. Some things are best left.
Whoa, this place is beautiful! Yeah, it must be some sort of rest and leisure area for the locals. You think? Man, these Renin sure know how to live it up, don't they? <sighs> it... is something the matter, Dohalim? Before I went down to Dana, my friends and I, we... We used to gather at this very spot and play music together. Avakir, Faria, and Tarnigan. <laughs> that was a lifetime ago now. Tarnigan. He was the one that Faria mentioned, right? He was once my dearest, closest friend. <sighs> as well as Faria's betrothed. Despite Faria's lower-class upbringing, she possesses a tremendous talent for music. Entranced by her playing, I helped her overcome her sense of inferiority and introduced her to Tarnigan and Avakir. It was a time of great joy. Four people bound only by their love of music, with no care for social standing. Only the next song, the next melody. A friendship based on mutual respect in a society where everyone is a prisoner to their social class. You really are different, Dohalim. I suppose it's natural you would see it as strange. I would have, once. Now, I think the idea of breaking away from society's constraints and choosing your friends based solely on affection is something beautiful that's worth cherishing. Besides, it was that way of looking at the world that laid the foundation- Your praise does me too great an honor. I was merely following the wish- And even then, it only lasted until the crown contest began. After that, Tarnigan and I became fierce competitors for the position of Lord. T Tarnigan had fallen for Faria. By becoming Lord, he aimed to wrest her from her humble origins and raise her to the highest echelons of society. But fate was not so benevolent. What happened? Tarnigan was no match for me in combat. On a level playing field, he wouldn't have stood a chance. But he was desperate and low on options, and he couldn't stand the thought of defeat. You mean he resorted to dirty tactics to try to win, right? But then why does Faria think... Wait. Don't tell me she doesn't know. How could I tell her? Combined with the trauma of losing her beloved, and by her friend's hand, no less. She would have been devastated. So instead you let her go on hating you, so she could use that hate as a crutch for her grief? <laughs> That's not the same as running away, though. It is. As for what happened after... That... But if you hadn't become Lord, Menencia wouldn't be what it is now. The Danans there would still be suffering under Renan oppression like before. <sighs> Shion's right. What other lord would have treated me as you did? Anyone else and I would have been dead long ago. You've saved so many people, Dohalim. You saved me. It's thanks to you that I'm here today. So, try not to blame yourself. The burden you've placed on your own shoulders is too much for anyone to bear. Frank as always. But, I shall do my best to heed your advice. Do you think he'll be alright? Yeah, I think so. He's got Kisara. It's important to have someone like that. I didn't realize how difficult it is just to be there for someone. Sometimes just knowing someone's on your side can be enough. And he knows, Xion. I promise he does. I hope you're right. Elfin. Yeah? I never appreciated until recently just how much you were always there to support me. 
goes both ways. You've helped me keep going more times than I can count. Maybe. I still want... to say
I see a medic and supply officer over there. If they know you're with me, they'll likely offer their assistance. Soldiers. Any way we can avoid fighting them? That all depends on them. Whatever happens, be ready. Well, so much for them not wanting to fight. Oh! I am Lord Dohalim of Elden Menacea. I command you. The rest of the city must be erased. No. Have they been brainwashed too? Brainwashed or not. If they want to fight, they got one. seem different from the citizens we've come. Yeah, they weren't big talkers. They weren't in the least bit faced. Indeed, they s And yet, traditionally, Lenigus hasn't been high on threats. A few frenzied zoog. Their glazed over eyes reminded me of the soldiers and s I've never seen any- Maybe someone doesn't want us here. What with the Red Woman, the Sovereign, and Volron, they're starting to develop quite- Well, here. Start up! Tear! Freeze Lancer! Take flight! 
Leave the insurance to me. Yeah. Where are you and going? The to me. The me this one's on mine. Oh, 
My exploits are bearing fruit. crafting material.
Those soldiers don't seem to have any qualms about attacking on... Out of our way!
I'm in good form. I'll crush any enemy with my mace. Awesome! We've got an avatar of destruction here! Truly, she leaves naught but rubble in her wake. Are you guys asking to be her next target? I've used... Gotta break through! I'll heal you here all. I come! I'm not done! Any more of this could all burn out! Back into the fray! Take this! Far enough! Leave the you agile one for me. Flash! Here! Right. Double oh, demon fang! Coming through! Ha! Now! Scarlet Inferno! Shockwave Slash! Shockwave Slash! Shine! Radiant Light! Force of Regeneration! Regenerate! I can carve through all! Thanks! Shockwave Slash! Don't be blessed! You must get me! Slash! 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 Here I come! Rising Kiss Time! Make it a demon fang! Another ink can now throw back. Right. Stay away from my friend! Double demon fang! Slash! Hurricane Double Slash. demon fang! Ha! Eat this! Explosion! Piercing roar! Hurricane Slash! Water blade! Make it break! I'll stop your movement! And I'll stop your life! Do it. Take this! Eternal Not a chance! Eternal Devastation! I can handle it! Denied! Annihilate! Ready! Fire blade! Vanish without a trace! Air pressure! Look sharp! That's it! Take this! Eternal Devastation! Blood. You will save you. Double Bloody Hear me, Eat the burning Negative game. Do it. Don't believe. All yours, Kisara. I can feel my power growing. Looks like we made it here in one piece. Thanks for waiting. Eat as much as you like.
Have you guys checked your equipment lately?
true gunslinger around Let's here. See what I can do. In a bind. Here it goes. Magasonic thrust. Hey, pull them away. Luna Cruz. The enemy real boss too. You'll soon see about that. This must be it. The entrance to the Forbidden Zone. 
But it's just a wall. How do we get through? Whoa, we? I thought this was Sovereigns only. Alfin. Interesting. If Alfin's presence still opens the way, it would seem the Sovereign of three centuries ago and now are considered one and the same. What? What the...? Alfin. You again. Tomorrow's the spirit channeling ceremony. We'll finally play our parts as the Sovereign and Maiden. How have you been feeling? What am I Sovereign of? Shuffled from lab to lab, always treated like an experiment. Whenever they look at me, all they see is a Danon. I don't even know what their precious ceremony's for. Let alone what they're going to force me to do as the Sovereign. Tell me, if we're both in the same boat, why do you seem so calm right now? No choice. Becoming the Maiden's not something I wanted for myself. But they... They said Rena's prosperity depended on it. How could I say no after that? Still, as a Renan, at least you got to decide. Good for you. Meanwhile, I was taken from my homeland. You aren't the captive one here. It isn't right what they did to you. And I'm sorry for what it's worth. When this is over... I swear I'll help you get home. I can't do this alone. One more day. How could I say no to that? It's not like I have any choice in the matter anyway. So, what's your name? It's Naori. Naori Imaris. Try to remember this time. You don't act like them. Like the other Renans, I mean. How come you treat me like a person? Because you are. It's true we come from different worlds. But neither one of us asked to be here right now. In that sense, you and I are much the same. We couldn't do this. We wouldn't be able to talk to each other as people. If we didn't see the humanity in each other. So I suppose the question you should be asking is, why wouldn't I treat you like one? You're not like the others. Maybe they're not like me. Here's what we'll do. We give them their damn ceremony. You get me to Dana. That'll be the end of it. I'm taking you at your word on this. I'm trusting you, not them. Nayori. What the hell just happened? That vision... Did everyone else see it too? That person Alvin was speaking to... She looked exactly like Shion. It was Naori. Naori Imeris. Isn't that right? <sighs> yeah, that's right. She really does look like Shion. I'm beginning to see why Alvin was so confused. That's all very well and fine, but what did we just witness exactly? It was a conversation we had 300 years ago. You mean all of that really happened? We just saw it. But how was that even possible? Unless... No. Why not? You guys didn't feel it? The moment the entrance opened, it was like a stream of Dan and Astral energy rushed... I felt it too. Not for the first time either. That would make sense. After all, vast amounts of Dan... For all we know... Perhaps we're close to the spot where all that energy was... 
So you think it might have been the energy itself that was responsible for that? We have no way of knowing. Maybe it's not even as deli- <sighs> Shion. Yeah. It was- So that was my ancestor, huh? I was- Yeah, there certainly is a resemblance. What about you? How are you- Me? Even putting aside the question of where that vision came from, reliving painful episodes from your past. I can't just pretend like the- Besides, if it helps us uncover the truth of what that ceremony really was- Alfin. That's not all. This whole time, we've been fighting to free Dana from the Renans. But now that we're here, it seems- I'd like to liberate them too, if I can. Which is just another reason I- Whether you're on Dana or somewhere else, you always stay the same. Your indignation and righteous passion. Not that I'm complaining. Come on. Nobody's here. Stay sharp. After that last illusion, there's no telling what could happen in here. Faria, how did you get in here? Wait, something about her isn't right. What's wrong with her? She doesn't even seem to know where she is. Yeah, you're right. She looks just like the soldiers we encountered outside. She never had that kind of power when- We can talk later. Here it comes! What? I've never known Faria to control Zoogles like that before. How about with a stone that looks suspiciously like a master core? What the... Where did she get her hands on that? First we handle the Zoogles. Then we get some answers. Ancavalry for you! Anything in your armor is all mine! Look sharp! No dawn shall break this I'm all stuffed up! You're mine! Hurricane Flight! I'll smash you! Captain! Look sharp! Not on my watch! Catapult! Burge! Guardian Hill! In a vine! You are the way! Eternal devastation! Elusive deity! Leave the charge! Where are you going? Hurricane Flight! Annihilate! Hurricane Shot! Take this! Regeneration! 
Too powerful to control. At this rate, 
Her body won't be able to take much more. Johalina! Forgive me. Man, I thought we were goners. Everything okay? Yes. She's only unconscious. Not her. I meant you. Shion, please. Can you treat her? I can try, but I can't promise she'll be back to her real self when she wakes up. All I can do is heal her physically. We're not even supposed to be in here. Maybe it'd be better if we moved her to somewhere a little safer. Don't you think? In that case... I'll take her off your hands. You? Avakir, what are you doing here? I was curious what you were up to, so I took the liberty of following you to find out. I overheard what you said about Tarnigan, about how he really died. I'm sorry, I had no idea. And you believed me? What makes you so sure I wasn't lying? I like to think I know you a little better than that, Dohalim. Give me some credit. <laughs> I'll take Faria. Leave her with me. I know better than to ask what you're up to, but whatever it is, I hope it all works out. Thank you. He seems like a good friend. He hasn't changed. He never was one to stand out. And as for Faria... You don't seriously blame yourself. Somebody got to her. Strike back at me. Someone who knew me. And the same goes for you as well. Neither you nor Faria would have lost loved ones. You're wrong. Kalzalik was the one who... As for Tarnagan, if it weren't for the crown contest, he'd still be alive. But that's why we're fighting. To put an end... Indeed. Reading society of this bl... You can't atone. <laughs> I know it hurts to hear. But those people are dead. Forgiveness, except... So I just forget the ho... No, the opposite, in fact. You remember... You never forget. Not for those already passed. For those... Kisara's right. So long as we've still got breath in our bodies, we can make... That's what living's all about. Be punishing yourself for the past won't make... Only fixing the problem in its stead. Is that... That's right. You have to live for tomorrow, Dohalim. Not for yesterday. And not only that, you need to live for yourself. <sighs> Don't forget, we've still got a mystery to solve. The fr Shion. Huh? Thank you. You have- Glad to be- I'm glad we could stop Faria without- Hurting her. You all did much for her as well. I'm most grateful. Oh, shucks. What is it, Rinwell? Yeah, it's that voice. The will of Danis As- What? There's so much astral energy. But where's it all coming from? It's almost like... it's alive.
Ah! That was the spirit channeling ceremony just now. No, it was more than that. What the hell was that? It felt like everything was on the brink of... Like the whole... Oblivion. It's the same vision as the one my thorns show me. A vision of impenetrable darkness that swallows up us and everything. An empty void. A nothing so complete and dominating that there aren't even words to describe it. The visions of the apocalypse you've been seeing. Uh, so, everything we just saw, those were... That's right. It was as if her innermost thoughts were speaking directly to us. At least I know they weren't mine. That power flowing into her... It reminds me of Xion's thorns. Maybe my thorns are made from that same... If that is the case, we just found the missing link between your thorns and what happened here three centuries ago. No, more than a link. Perhaps even the very heart of them. I've never felt astral energy so powerful. If it's the same energy your thorns are made of, it must be dark astral energy, right? And isn't that something only Renans have? Correct. Dark astral energy is... And when enough astral energy gathers together, if so, maybe that complete oblivion is exactly what the Ren and Astral Energy's will is wishing for. I don't know. Will can be a pretty vague thing to nail down. It's more of a feeling. But the will of Dana is made up of Astral Energy too, right? And if that's what's been showing us these visions... I don't know, should we really be getting so involved with this thing? Dana's will would never want oblivion! But you can't say that for sure! Cut it out, you two. Squabbling over theories will get us nowhere. <sighs> Let's keep moving. If it's Dana's will showing us these memories, then I'm as clueless about its motives as any one of us. But if it could lead us to- Xion's right. All we can do is keep going. And I think they may be the kinds of truths I- I'm sorry about what I said earlier. Finally, we begin to understand what the thorns are. Yes, and their source. A ceremony that occurred three centuries ago. But we still don't know how to get rid of them. I just hope we can find a way. Soon, we might very well learn the truth behind Xion's thorns. I have to be ready to face anything. Whatever happens. I'm determined to save Xion and Dana. Do you think Faria was really- Certainly seen that. The same- Brainwashed or otherwise. Someone you- It does tell us- There's no question. By someone capable of getting inside a person and- That- Me- Well- That- Wait, what if- You th I am me- Okay, more to the point, how does that much astral energy gather in one- Whatever it was. It survived here intact for 300 years. Whoever... The strength of...
Hold up. A few guys. What is it? I want to look through that room over there. I'm curious what we'll find. That's the room you visited in your past, right? Sure. We can check it out. This looks like some kind of research facility. A laboratory secreted away in the Forbidden Zone. Why am I past being surprised at this point? Looks pretty deserted. Let's check it out. It might give us a new lead. Hmm. I think I- Well, these are experiment records by the looks of it. Reams of them, dating back hundreds of years. Let's see. A composite being capable of controlling Danon astral energy, so as to convert its molecular and elemental makeup. The creation of a governing central figure, taking the form of a Danon. Codename Sovereign. Sovereign? Wait, there's more. Research into utilizing force field crystals for the purpose of stable astral energy containment. That must be the master course. With all this raw data, there's bound to be records here somewhere about the Maiden and the Lords, too. About the Lords? Why would they be on there? Think about it. The Lord's crests are clearly of a piece with those of both the Sovereign and the Maiden. Not to mention the fact that the contenders to the Crown are selected from otherwise regular Renin citizens. In other words, it may be that all Renins are unwittingly being made subject to some kind of... grand scheme. What about the Sovereign? Does it say anything else? Where do I start? All I've read so far is the headlines. There's so much here. To sift through all of it would require specialized... Wait. What is it? Did you find something? It's a list of names. With the title, Test Subjects, Sovereign. It's your call. Read it. There must be dozens of test subjects listed here. Hundreds even. All of them failures. Wait. I think I've found one that was successful. Test Subject number 1273. Ethnicity, N.A. Unique Adjustment Index, Generation, N.A. Given name, Alphen. <sighs> They've re-engineered me, right here in this lab. Alphen. It's fine, really. What about the others? Was I the only one? Test subject number 10105. Ethnicity, N.A. Unique adjustment index, generation, N.A. Given name... Volron. Volron? But that means... She's only sovereign because someone made him that way, too. He's the last one. In three centuries worth of records, you and Volron are the only two subjects on whom the experiment was a success. <laughs> but what about the winners of the crown contests? Does this mean that none of them were ever crowned sovereign after all? Upon victory, the Sovereign shall return to Rena and rule over Rena and Lenegus combined. When a new Sovereign is decided, the outgoing Monarch shall relinquish their post and live out the rest of their days on Rena. So we were told. But according to these records, there have only ever been two Sovereigns, neither of whom had anything to do with the Crown Contest. It's all lies, including the part about the Sovereign residing in Rena. The Crown Contest was never about deciding a new ruler. It must always have been devised for some other purpose. 
But even supposing that's true, someone must have been in charge for the past three centuries, right? If it wasn't the Sovereign, then who was it? Crown contests have been held this whole time, in spite of the fact that there was already a Sovereign. Me. Meaning that for the past 300 years, someone out there has to have been maintaining that lie. The same person I'm willing to bet is behind all this. The Red Woman? It's possible. But that doesn't necessarily mean she's the mastermind behind this scheme. She could be working for someone else. Someone back on the Renan homeworld. Either way, it's fair to say she's definitely involved somehow. What about the data records? Is there no other information that- Not that I can see. Just file up- There's nothing here about who's behind all this. Or what- I've barely managed to scratch the surface, mind you. You won't be able to read through it all. But you're welcome- I'll do that. So this is where Alfin became the Sovereign. And Volron is- of this location would suggest. Hey, it looks like the terminals in here turned on too. We should look through them. They might contain valuable information.
only two sovereigns. So why has the experiment only succeeded twice in all this time? Was there really no other way? Dohalim. <laughs> Forgive me. Alphen. I'm fine. I'm just a little shaken, that's all. But it's strange. I've got all this rage inside of me, but I don't even know who it's for. If that were to happen, then I... No. Then we'd help you fight it. Before you... Yeah. We wouldn't just sit by and watch you spiral out of control. That's right. No good can come from being consumed by hatred. If you ever start to lose your way, you can count on us to guide you back. To remind you where home is. And I would be happy to lend an attentive ear, should you ever have need. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I think I'll be okay now. For the people of Lenegas, the Forbidden Zone is the stuff of dreams. Yet here I- It's off limits even for lords, then? Talk- Being exclusive is one thing, but how many important facilities let in only the Sovereign? Doesn't that seem a- Strange doesn't cover it. If it was only one room, maybe. But a place- Whoever the Sovereign is, they can't manage the upkeep of- Did no one ever talk about it when you were growing- No, not that I can remember. Then again, Sovereigns and Forbidden Zone- The Forbidden Zone is a hallowed place, at one with the Sovereign's authority. Grounds of the one true ruler who presides over all Renans. That, that is what we believed this place to be. No, what we were made to believe it was. But now, it is finally time to discover this area's true purpose, and why it was kept hidden behind the scenes for so long.
Fiore, I... I... Don't talk. I have to do this. I gave you my word that I'd help you return to Dana. The next time you open your eyes, you'll be home. But you... My place is here with my people. I still have a duty to fulfill. I'm sorry for what you've endured. Rena never should have dragged you into this. It's not your burden to bear. But... The mask contains a sedative. It should keep your mind from tearing itself apart any further. Let yourself go to sleep. This should help with the pain. Time to go, Elfin. Farewell. His injuries are worse than I thought. Short-term treatment isn't going to cut it. I'll have to switch the healing pod to long-term hibernation mode. The chance of surviving hibernation's less than 10%? And worse, long-term use of the mask carries a high risk of damaging his mind and nervous system. What? Lenigus will be nothing but ashes, and this starship along with it. I don't know if I can fulfill my promise to you, Alfin. But if... If doing this will grant you even the slightest chance, I have to try. I hope it's enough. Please, live for me, Alfin. <sighs> that vision... It must have been from when She sure went above and beyond the call- Even with Lanigus crumbling down around her, she chose to stay put with her people. So that's why you lost your memories and sense of pain, and why you were asleep for that whole time. It was all the result of one agonizing decision Naori made to- Yeah. If it weren't for her, I wouldn't even be alive today. I owe her everything. Now that you know how she felt, how do you plan on honoring her wishes? She kept her promise. If the Renan people she fought so desperately to protect are at risk from a malevolent force, then I owe it to her to carry on her fight. Naori was the one who put that mask on me. It made me Iron Mask. She did it to prevent your soul from tearing itself apart. She knew you might lose your mind. Memories and sense of pain as a result. But more than anything, she wanted you to survive. And you did. Place. We've seen this in one of Naori's memories. Of course. After 300 years, the spirit chant. This is where the Renis Alma was. So, this is the place where you and Naori. The Renis Alma isn't here now. Nor is the. I know it's difficult, Alfin. But there will be time to dwell on the past later. <gasps> Naori, what is this? Is it the work of... It's been a year since the ceremony. That day, I shut away inside of myself the power that caused Elfin to lose control. Since then, 
My visions of the future have grown more and more fearsome. Is this another memory? No, it's different this time. It's like she's speaking directly to us. <sighs> what we did back then. Not so much as a day passes when I don't think about it. About what was done to us. All in the name of a ceremony. The purpose of which we were never even told. As Sovereign, they linked Elfin's consciousness to Lenigus itself. The Renis Alma was intended to control his power, lest anything should slip through its cracks. That day, as Maiden, my role was to temper his power. I was meant to guide it forth, and give shape to the strength inside of him. Linked to Lenicus itself? But then, everything that's been happening... But that power showed me a vision. A vision of Oblivion. When I realized that vision was a prophecy of the apocalypse we were about to unleash, I couldn't go through with it. But without a maiden, the ceremony was doomed. Alphen lashed out, his consciousness no longer his own. I did what I could. Using my abilities as the maiden, I tried to seal that power away inside of me. But it was too late. Lanigus had already been brought to its knees. Thousands upon thousands of lives so cruelly snuffed out. All because of me. Because of what I had done. With the destructive force now slumbering inside of me, I knew I had to find a way to dispose of it. Anything to make up for my failure. But I didn't know how. Especially since that power was astral energy itself. In which case, ironically enough, the Renis Alma seemed to be my best bet. That, at least, would hold the astral energy dormant. Assuming that no malevolent third party got to it first. With the Sovereign and Maiden's combined power, Perhaps I could shift the chaotic energy inside me into the Renis Alma instead. That's what I hoped, but alas, it was not to be. The Renis Alma was lost, and Alfin the Sovereign was in a starship bound for Dana. My only choice was to seal away the destructive force inside of me using my powers as the Maiden, to buy the world what little time I could. The time needed for a new Renis Alma to be crafted, and for a new Sovereign to appear. Even if by doing so, it meant I would be passing the curse onto my descendants as well. Please, forgive me. I never meant to burden the future world with this threat, too. I only wish that there was something more I could have done. Wait, you can't just... Nayori. <sighs> that message just now, was it directly from Naori? Or was it the Danon voice speaking through her? What? These are the clothes that Naori and I wore during the ceremony three centuries ago. So you're saying this is the Maiden's outfit? That's right. These clothes are designed to resonate with the Sovereign and Maiden's abilities. They focus and enhance them. 
And they appeared now because... Naori must have left them here for the new Sovereign and Maiden, knowing the day would come when they would need them in their fight against the Thorns. These outfits are directly linked to the answers we've been chasing this whole time. If they're here, it must mean it was Naori's will for us to find those answers as well. Locating the Renis Alma would allow us to neutralize the dark astral energy inside Xion, thereby silencing her thorns. Is that what Naori's suggesting? It makes sense. After all, Master Cores and Spirit Vessels are both able to prevent the astral energy inside them from developing sentience. By that logic, it would stand to reason that the Renis Alma would have the same ability on a larger scale. We have a Maiden and Sovereign. Now all we need is the Renis Alma, and we'll finally be able to free you of your thorns. Shion. It's possible? You really think so? I do. We can rid you of your thorns and stop the world from falling to oblivion. However, the spirit channeling ceremony already failed once. Even if our goal is different this time, we can't be sure the same thing won't happen again. We should take care not to be too optimistic. You're right. It's the barest sliver of a chance. But if there's even the slightest hope it can work, I'm willing to stake everything I've got on it. I... I know it's too early to let myself feel relieved, but... I just can't seem to help it. Just hearing there's the slightest chance, even though I know the world's still in great peril. It's selfish of me, I know, but... but still... No, it isn't! You found hope to believe in. It'd be strange if you weren't over the moon about it. Rinwell's right. We can rid you of your curse and still save the world at the same time. Thank you. Naori entrusted us with the fate of all humanity. Now, it's up to us to prove that trust was well placed. Starting with a little game called Hunt the Renis Alma. Yeah, we've come all this way. Now we just need to search Lenigus and Rena until we find it. Yeah, we can protect the world and save Xion at the same time. I too shall lend my services. My knowledge of Renan lore is bound to be a useful asset. And they say modesty is dead. <laughs> Miracles just seem to follow wherever you go, huh? How do you know it's me they're following? We're all in this together, Xion. Now let's get moving, shall we? Last I heard, we... <laughs> Thank you, Naori. So Naori sealed away the power that made me lose control. She stopped my rampage. But then, that power she'd sealed away was passed down to... I'm so sorry, Xion. You're wrong. What happened to you was because of the ceremony, and Naori's attempt to stop Oblivion. You paid a heavy price for it, and then fell asleep for 300... The reason you lost your memories... It's the reason for the, the thorns. thorns. It all leads back to them. But once they're gone, we can finally put... When my thorns are gone, I never... know. The truth is, I think maybe I've always been... About a life without the touch of my family, or playing with... Holding hands with Rinwell, or giving embracing of all the normal things. I always wished I could experience them for myself, and finally know what they were like. Is it really okay for me to believe it can happen? I'm so scared of getting... What if it doesn't work out? That's not going to... I'm here to make... Forget fit. We're going to live... <sighs> a normal life. There are a lot of things. Yeah, it's such... I know that we've... And it's for my sake. You're worth fighting for. I believe you. Good. I'll keep on fighting. Until our future.
Sounds... Her position... Yeah. It was Naori who first showed me that such a thing was even possible. Not only that, but she willingly stayed behind on Lenigus for the sake of her people. It's as if walls meant nothing to her. The ones separating the Renans from the Danans, or her... Which basically meant that she never had anything to break down in the first place, huh? Yeah. I think you may be right about that. You inherited that legacy. Don't I know it? She's kind of like a lodestar guiding our way. That's quite some door, all right. This might finally be- We'll find the Renis Alma and the Red Woman in- After everything we've been through to get here? We'll probably be needing you to open this one for us, so- Go for it, Alf. This is it, guys. Time to- We're a long way from the residential quarters now. Yeah, you're right. Actually, this place... Except the Dan and Astral Energy... In a portion of the city reserved purely... Maybe he just has strange... This place looks like it has been here for quite some time now. If its design were a matter of personal preference, we would... Still, this isn't the sort of decadence of taste spoken of in artistic circles. Hold up, Dan... When a preference is indulged to its extreme, it descends into kitsch, eccentricity for the sake of it. I'd be happy to illuminate... That depends. Does it- The void that art fills isn't the stomach. In that case, I'll let you know the next time- Now all we need is some- Shut up! Bolron! He really was still alive. And there's the Renis Alma. Then, is this another spirit channeling ceremony? Wait, though. Something doesn't seem right here. Oh, once more. The powers must be united. Born from the fires of chaos, the world does seek its rightful state. All must be sacrificed in the heart of Rena, at the shrine of the true sovereign. What has happened to him? He's lost himself. Reduced to a mere cog in a machine. <laughs> hey, look! Over there! Isn't that... the Maiden's Crest? Can it be? 
that this entire chamber is meant to act as a substitute for the Maiden? It looks like it's still running, but are we already too late to stop the ceremony? If that's what caused Lenegas' transformation, then the purpose of the ceremony must have been to drain all the astral energy out of Dana. But for what purpose? What could possibly need astral energy on that sort of scale? I don't know. But whatever it is, I'll bet it's connected to those visions of Oblivion. Regardless, we cannot stand by and let them steal Dana's energy. That said, we should retrieve the Renis Alma. Because right now, we need that most of all. <laughs> He's not gonna lunge at us out of nowhere, right? Not the time, Law. Alvin, look! <laughs> the Red Woman! So we finally found you. I have a lot of questions for you. Wait! What? Uh, they all have the same face? How is that even possible? <clears throat> True rulers of Rena. They're not feeling particularly talkative. It's no use, Elfin. If we don't fight, we may as well be sitting ducks here. Good point. Let's stop them before this gets out of hand. Where's this chair? There he is. <laughs> Our art is being interrupted. No, 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 Ignite! Here, flame of fury! Flash! Burn it! I'm ready! Dance on the wind! Radiant Pierce! 
Surrender! Fighting is useless now! Do you think it's really over? <gasps> Astral energy... Watch out! They've got something up their sleeve! <laughs> <laughs> what? It's self-destructed? Helfen! <sighs> I'm okay. Just a little roughed up. You had me worried there. Who said you could touch that? <laughs> Damn it! He's awake! should have thought as much. So you know this place? Naturally, it was built for me, after all. We'll save that for another time. More pressing is how I'm going to tear you apart. Even after all this time, you still insist on hating me? You cut me down. Sovereign or not, you will pay for that. <laughs> You're obviously bluffing. You can't even move right now. Really, is that what you think? Did you really think that such a petty device could hold me? Are you going to claim it's because you're a ruler? Be it sovereigns or lords. In the end, they're all titles given by someone else. Plus, what kind of ruler would spend all his time chasing Alf? who happens to be another Sovereign. Idle prattle. I proved my worth and the Sovereign's powers were granted to me. Were they really? We already know the title of Sovereign doesn't denote royalty. It is but an overblown codename for those with a designated part to play in these proceedings. You mentioned before that you were not the only one stolen from Dana, correct? Yeah. There were countless. Every one of them besides me... died. All of those failed experiments, and they still kept going back to Dana. There must have been some vital reason their subject had to specifically be a Danon. Then there were the records we found in the library, for you and Volron. 
They were locked 300 years apart, and yet the data they took from you was exactly the same. Which leads us to a single conclusion. Then you mean... Boron was kidnapped just like Alfin? But then he became a... A slave from Dana. Just like us. Isn't that right, Volrung? So he posed as a Renin and caused all that suffering to his own people? How could you? If you knew the pain of being a slave, why would you inflict that upon others? Hmm. Renin and Dana are meaningless distinctions. Me and everyone else. That is all that matters. I will stand above all others and take what is rightfully mine, starting with this. A red woman? Another one? Give your master back on Rena this message. No one makes a fool of me. Let them know I'll make them suffer. Don't do it! Never forget, I am the one who devours everything, who answers to neither spirit nor man. My word is law! I am... I am... Uh! Are you two okay? Yeah. Is Volron... have we finally seen... We can but hope. Those red women... what, could they be the ones behind all this? The same ones who put those soldiers and Faria in a trance? What? Those brainless things? <sighs> Either way, they've done a runner with the Renis Alma. Damn it, that's the second time now! Whatever's stolen from us, whilst the future's ours to protect. And right now those things are what's standing in our way. We can head them off at Rena. Did you say Rena? Volron mentioned a master of theirs holed up in the Motherland somewhere. If that monstrous forms their true identity, I shudder to think who they take orders from. Yeah. There's a good chance it's not human. So this thing over on Rena. They have the Rena Salma in their grasp already, so it's unlikely they'll have cause to return to Dana. I agree. Then we're agreed. Let's head back. But seriously, I was not expecting Voron to actually be here. He seemed to care not one whit about Renans or Danans. Yeah, not in a good way like with us.
I didn't see that coming about Volron. As for those red women, to think they were monsters all along. Tell me about it. One minute they look perfectly human. Next thing you know, they're not actually human at all. They definitely weren't Renan or Danon. I'm not even sure language would get through to them. So what were they then? human zoogle hybrids? Is the most terrifying thing anyone said all day. How about you, Xion? Doily? You ever seen anything like that before? No, never. However, if they're the same as the Red Woman we've seen with Volron, I think it's safe for us to assume they understand our language at the very least. I had just so much I wanted to ask them. About Rena and Xion's thorns. Unfortunately, they blew themselves up before we got the chance. Why would they do such a thing, though? To take us with them? Both sound plausible. Yeah, they did. And Yeah. 
Nonetheless, we have a long way yet to go. from losing. Easter! I'll finish you here and now! Take this! Uh, 
Infernal turret! Move escape! Can't get out of this! I'll crush you! <laughs> Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! I'm on it! Benedict, crush it! Crush it! Don't suck the ring! 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 Take this! Resuscitate in your dreams! Yet. No God. Try harder! Break this my nerve! No 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 Shutter incantation ruined! Coming through! Ha! No! Scarlet Inferno! Shine! Hit. Radiant light! Hit. Force of resistance! Crush it! Reach it! Try harder! Not a chance! I'll let you all down! Yes. You'll pay for that! I'll bring you back to the end! I can handle it! Crush! Denied! Heal my weary companion! Ruin! Demon Flame! Don't you need to Double Demon Flame! Eagle Flame! Double Demon Challenge Storm! Elusive Deity! Shading Pile Flame! Get it! I'm ready! Look! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Flame! This should make for some good weapon crafting material! Healing arts last. to get pitch dark all of a sudden the lights are all out think it has something to do you two faria avakir avakir filled me in about everything. she doesn't remember a thing he told me about tarnigan too what difference does it make stop casting me off what? faria not now it can wait dohalim so i can see it's the city's core reactor it's damaged some of the basic systems we've managed to keep online but Complete restoration still a way off. You're an elite technician, though. You can fix- If so, then what's- Panic's begun to set in among the citizens. 
Until now, whenever something like this happened, the sun- But this time, not so much as a peep. Any longer, and we run the risk of riots breaking out before- Forget the Sovereign. I doubt you'll be hearing from him anytime soon. What's that supposed to mean? Do you- Suffice it to say, the Sovereign isn't the kind of ruler we thought he was. That is, if he ever even existed. Which is looking- Are you out of your mind? Why, if people knew that a lord such as yourself was whispering such blasphemy- There's no time to explain now. It sounds like we need to find a way to keep Lenegas from spiraling out of control. We need to stop that riot. But how do we do that? Riots feed on discontent and unrest, right? So if we want to keep the- At ease. Like, by letting them hear directly from someone- That's it. Who's the highest ranking person in- Lenegas wouldn't have a next in line. After all, you said the Sovereign rules over everyone directly, right? Correct. The closest thing to an authority figure would be a lo of Akir. You mentioned a few facilities were still online. Which ones? Ugh. Why hasn't the Sovereign said anything? Please, won't somebody explain what's going on? Is it over? What's going to happen to all of us? Heed me now, fellow Renans of Lanagus. It is I, Lord Dohalim Ilkaris of Elder Menencia. Look up there! It's Lord Dohalim! Hold on! He should be in the crown contest! Shouldn't he? Why isn't the Sovereign talking to us? The Sovereign is seeing to other matters right now. In my capacity as Lord, I speak to you in his stead. You're afraid. As people so often are when faced with the unknown. I hope you'll allow me to put your fears to rest. The city's core reactor has experienced a malfunction. However, we have our top engineers attending to the matter, and things will soon be back to normal. I know that you feel abandoned, perhaps more scared and alone than ever before. But I ask you all to keep one thing in mind. You are Lanagus, not the Lords and Sovereign. The solidarity of its citizens is the mortar that holds it together. If we don't allow ourselves to be distracted by our differences, if we put our hearts and minds together and stand as one, I am confident we will find new hope. I would be honored to stand with you. Not as a person of loftier rank, but as another human being among them. I hope that you'll lend me your strength, for if we can persevere as one, I know. A bright tomorrow awaits. Your speech seems to have done the trick. Looks like the city won't be descending into chaos after all. I only pray the relief will tide the city over- What you said earlier. About the Sovereign possibly not even existing. Was it true? It's still too premature to say with any certainty. But I believe so. This whole time, this world we've been fed was a lie. Built on nothing but falsehoods. But... it can't all have been... I can believe it. After everything I saw in the Forbidden Zone, what they did to Faria... It's the only explanation that makes sense. But what about hierarchy, Avakir? Authority? The very foundations of Renan society? How can we live without someone to guide us? I'd say we found someone capable of doing just that, wouldn't you? Y you You can't be serious. I have business I must take care of first. But once everything is over, I shall return. But not as your sovereign, nor as a leader the likes of which the people here are used to, I think. But... how else do you propose to rule? I'm not sure yet. All I have is a feeling that here in Lenegas, a new dawn is on the verge of breaking. One in which people won't be judged by birthright or on the power of their astral arts, but on other things. More important things. Things like, oh, I don't know, musical talent, for example. When I bumped into you after all those years, I said you were no different. But I was wrong. 
Truth is, you are always different. I feel like... Like, maybe now I can finally begin to accept Turnigan's death. To see a future. <laughs> you go finish whatever it is you've got to do. I'll hold down the fort here in Lenicus till you get back. Thank you. I guess you're not going to make it to Menencia for the foreseeable future, huh? Indeed. Forgive me. The people of Elda Menencia can look after themselves just fine. It's the ones here on Lenigus who need someone to guide them. Besides, with you leading the people here, it'll help spread the idea of coexistence beyond Menencia's borders that much faster. Sounds like you're in it for the long haul. How could I not be, after the second chance that I've been granted? From this day forth, I shall dedicate myself to the future inhabitants of this world. Though Remember, you're going to be leading the people. True enough. What happened with or without her? I suspect you're gonna have you. We should be heading back to the ship. Yes. Looks like the people of Lenigus can rest easy. I, I couldn't have done it without your words of encouragement, Law. Hey, you're the one who made the speech. I think everybody can share the credit here. What do you say we check back in on the ranch?
Have you guys checked your equipment lately? In one sense, when all is said and done, you, a Renan, I was complicit. And when I realized, a lord. And yet my... I think I can relate. The ability to think Zephyr taught me how to fight. But in, even if it means stumbling, or this Zephyr... There's just... How long have you known? Known what? About the darkness I carry inside me. Why ask me now? But... Yes, I... So basically since... Leave the... If my brother... <laughs> well then. <sighs> Kisara? <laughs> Among other things. To be entirely honest, I couldn't tell whether you were smiling or frowning. You were thinking about Dohalim, weren't you? <laughs> that... I was just thinking how good it is to see him. It was always so... But now? So... Oh, it prob... Must be that... Rinwell's r A pretty... <laughs> All this is... If Dohalim can...
thought we'd find answers on Lenegas, but we just... You can say that again. And now we have more problems. That can wait for now. We've got more than enough on our plates to deal with as it is. Like figuring out who's really running the show on Rena. Yeah. Which is why we're going... All the answers we've been looking for are on that planet. The person with the answers have to be there. So, what do we do? We know nothing about the Renan homeworld or what we might face once we arrive. We should get a feel for how things are on the ground before we... It's also entirely possible that the first thing we're going to... If we come across a capital... <laughs> what? Damn! The hell just happened? Our course has been altered. The coordinates are pointing to a different destination. What's that? The ship's controls aren't accepting my commands. The engine is being shut down. That's bad, right? Quite bad. We've lost control of the ship. Is all of this the Red Women's doing? Are they trying to finish us off before we can land? <laughs> Everyone! Look there! Flower blooming out of Rena? But that flower looks like it's absorbing all of Dennis' energy. And it appears Lenigus is serving as a conduit for that energy to reach here. Could that have been its true purpose all along? If that's true, do you think the people back on Lenigus are all right? <sighs> we can only pray that they are. Damn it! Haven't they taken enough already? When is this going to end? The Flower of Oblivion. With everything that's happening, we need to get back to Lenigus. Is the ship- Unfortunately, yes. Even- Can you fix it? Starships are extremely complex machines. One wrong move while we're out here in space could very well cost us- So what? We're just stuck inside here, floating around? For how long? 
I don't believe this. We're watching Dana die before our eyes, and we have no choice but to sit here and starve to death? Look, right. Sorry. It's still too early to give up. Alfin. Ah! Now what? The starship, it... it's back online? No, this is different. Something is pulling our ship in towards it. We managed to get moving, but... It looks like Lenigus in here. Do you think we might run into more Renans here? Perhaps. Someone... We haven't been ambushed, so that probably means they aren't hostile. Still, why would anyone want to bring us here? Uh, hey! Shion! If they wanted to attack us, they could have done so while we were back on the starship. We should see where this path takes us. Ah, Xion, just in the nick. No! What the? No, I'm the. Again, La? Yeah. Serious. Besides, actually, I guess I'm before long. Which isn't so. It's fine. But I appreciate. Until I get. Maybe it. Yeah. <sighs> ah! 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 What the? Are you at. Oh, come on. How am I supposed. 